So, yeah, hi, good evening, everybody. I mean, good afternoon. Uh, today, I'm taking in this recording this class is late. Uh, so, the class is entitled. You can people can watch on my YouTube. And next week also, I won't be taking any class. I'll be taking a final class in the uh, uh, in the last of twelfth weekend. And I think the date will be on that day will be. Uh, I guess. Uh, you know, the date will be um, today's 30th, then 6th, 13th. 13th April, I'll be taking the last class. So, before we discuss the assignment, as usual, as we always do, we will uh, discuss the what is being taught. Uh, what is being taught by Professor Mohapatra in week 10 classes. So, let's see. So, uh, we are already familiar with the chemistry of early actinides, and now they are the complex system of actinides. So what does this, uh, he taught? He taught that actinides form complexes with ligands through electrostatic interactions with covalency playing a minor role. Actinide ions, hard bases show preference for hard bases like oxygen or fluorine over soft bases, which is nitrogen, sulfur, or phosphor. Now due to the F or vital participation, the affinity for soft donors is more in case of actinides than those of lanthanides. Complex section involves the replacement of water molecules from inner coordination is fair. For ions of same charge, stability increases with the ratio of effective charge uh, to radius. Relative stability of actinides ions is M4 plus is greater than MO22 plus is greater than M3 plus is greater than MO2 plus, which is dependent on the ionic tension. Now, relative order of complexation for ligands is uh, first is this, second is this. Okay, now going further. Determination of the complexation constant or stability constant is that if several complexes coexist in solutions of actinides, equilibrium concentration of the species need to be measured. And activity is kept constant per chloride media is chosen very often. If you have this M plus L, ML, the K1 will be ML by N over L. The ML plus L is ML2, this is K2. Similarly, there is beta, which is called as overall stability, beta 1, beta 2, beta 3, beta 4, and beta 2 equal to K1, K2, beta 3 equal to K1, K2. Now this K1, K2, K3, K4 is greater. Like this first step will be uh, faster than the second and third and so on. Now going further, he thought about methods to determine the stability content, constants. The first one is the potentiometry, which determines the free ligand concentration, uh, which is Jerome method, average ligand number. And uh, this is M plus L giving ML, where K1 equal to ML over ML. And ligand is base. And there is competition between H plus ion and the metal ion to bind with the ligand. By potentiometric titration, the concentrations of the M, L, and ML can be determined from which K1 can be obtained. Now, spectrophotometry is saying epsilon is equal to A by molar M, where A is the absorbance. Now, equation is X equal to 1 plus summation of N equal to 1 to N, beta N, L raised to N. Measurement should be done at a uh, lambda value where epsilon variation with L is as large as possible. Software is hyperquad, which is used for, you know, telling us. Now, the factors which affect the stability constants are the nature of the ion, ionic size, ionic charge, metal ionic species type, nature of the coordination atom of the ligand, basicity of the coordination atom, charge in the ligand, which is F minus or carbon A2 minus, chillet effect, ring size, microcyclic effect, stage factor, etc. Now, there is no affinity for sulfur in aqua solution generally. There is a moderate affinity for nitrogen, generally complexation reactions are endothermic and stability due to the large gain entropy, which is a water release. Soft metal ions prefer heavier donors. Here stability is from enthalpy term, and hard actinide ions, which are strongly hard hydrated, prefer hard ions. In ionic ligands, halides are complexation with halides such as F minus, Cl minus, Mdi minus. Now you can see this is how the table looks. And then the normally ligand sulfate nitrate. And this was the first class. Now in the second class, we told, talked about uh, uh, carbonates. Carbonates forms precipitation similar to the hydroxides. Carbonates forms uh, bridging complexes in these precipitates and mix hydroxocarbonate or oxocarbonate complexes are formed. At higher carbonate concentration, depolymerization takes place and soluble carbonate complexes are formed. Now in case of 
UO2 2 positive ion, the carbonate complexes exist at as low pH as 3 to 4.8 complexes such as UO2 CO3 and UO2 whole trice OH3 CO3 minus are formed. Finally, UO2 CO3 whole trice whole minus is formed with whose log beta T is equal to 21.54 at 0.1 molar and 20 degree centigrade. Now, at lower carbonate concentration, the monomer UO2 CO3 2 2 minus as well as a trimer is formed and the trimerization is possible at a higher ionic extent such as 3 molar NaClO4. Going further uh, for inorganic ligands carbonate, U5 also forms analogous tricarbonate species at high carbonate concentration log beta 3 is 13.3. The trimeric species is not formed for U5 due to strong disproportionation reaction. U4 forms carbonate complexes in alkaline solution. Species such as UCO356 minus has reportedly formed with very high stability constant. Low beta 5 is really In sea water, U is present as the uranyl ion and under the prevailing pH and carbonate concentration PCO32 minus for the 4.25. Now, uranium exists as soluble species and hence U is present in sea water at much higher concentration than the other heavy metal ion. The amount of uranium in seawater is 1000 times less than that in mines. The thorium-4 and plutonium-4 forms insoluble hydroxide under the prevailing conditions. Similar carbonate complexes are also formed for other alkaline ions. Now for phosphase, if we talk about phosphase existed as PO4-3- or HPO4-2- and H2PO4- depending on pH. Now the phosphate acts as a bridging ligand, thereby forming slightly soluble precipitates of actinide ions at different phosphate concentrations, different complex species are formed. These work like inorganic ion exchanges and are traps for various metal ions. The hydrogen ions in the phosphates phases are replaced by the metal ions in solution. For uranium 4 species such as UHPO4 2.6H2O, if the stable species below 9.8 molar phosphoric acid, beyond 9.8 molar, UHPO4 whole twice dot H3PO4 dot H2O is formed. For uranium 6 phases, like UO2 whole twice PO4 whole twice dot 6H2O or UO4 UO2HPO4 dot 4H2O and UO2HPO4 whole twice dot 3H2O are formed for low, medium and high concentration of the phosphoric acid. The organic phosphates like TVP and DVP are known to form complexes with actinide ions. This will be discussed in a separate lecture. The other organic phosphorus compounds such as phosphine oxide form complexes with actinide ions through the P double bond O group and bind to the oxygen atom. The complexes are soluble in the organic phase and are used for solid extraction separation. Now talking about the carboxylate. Carboxylate, carboxylate forms stronger complexes than sulfates, but weaker than carbonates. Carboxylate forms chelates and polycarboxylate form strong complexes with EDTA. Tetral and net ion is stable as a carboxylate complexation. Higher state complexes are formed with MO2 2 plus ions but not the trivalent ions. Propionate forms stronger complex than acetate. Now with increasing charge as well as jet, the beta values increases but for oxo cation are reverse tendency. Now talking about the complex station with organic ligands, it is important to note that acetate forms chelate with MO2 2 plus ions but not with M3 plus. However, glycolate forms chelate with the Trivalent actinide ions in solution containing carboxylate ions, the uh, plus 4 state is stabilized as compared to the lower or higher oxidation states. A very strong triacetate complexes are formed with MO2 2 plus ions chelate as compared to the respective M3 plus ions, no chelate. In case of carboxylic acids with hydroxyl group, the stability of the complex was found to be even higher as indicated in figure 11. Hydroxy carboxylate have been used as a lutein agent for the intra group separation of actinides using cation exchanges such as DOVEX 50 cross 8. Talking about elution profile of lanthanum 3 positive using alpha HIBA, the smaller ions with higher charge uh, to radius volume ratio from a stronger complex with the reverse order of elution. You know, elution profile for AN3 positive using alpha HIPA, smaller ions with high charge to radius ratio from stronger complexes with diluting agents as ACAC, acetyl acetonate forms strong six member chelates with BJHX from even stronger complexes with five member rings. Now EDTA forms very strong complex with the actinides strongest with plus four ions but much lower with MO2 plus.
talking about the summary complexation of actinides is complicated due to the ionic species and disproportionation of the actinides the oily actinides have multiple oxidation states and complicate complexation study the trivalent actinides are considered soft while trivalent lanthanides are considered hard metal ions the complexation ability varies in the order of m4 plus mo2 plus as we have already seen f minus ion form strong complexes and so also the carbonates uranium carbonates are highly soluble with a vis and thorium carbonates uh explaining their presence in sea water the stability of complexes of hard metal ions is due to favorable entropy term and thalpy terms are generally endothermic only coordination of highly charged anions is exothermic np4 positive and npo2 2 positive complexes are less stable as compared to those of u4 positive and uo2 2 positive chloride of tri and tetravalent actinides ions are insoluble but those of the actinide ions are soluble as it forms much stronger complex than nitrate so both ligands have have smaller size and same charge edta complexes are highly stable but carbonates to actinide ions are more stable talking about actinide hydrolysis hydrolysis behavior is dependent on oxidation state 3 4 and 6 ph is greater than equal to 8 for 2 and 5 state now beta in q is a and any oh q and z minus q h plus o s to q over a and z plus o s to n from here beta in q is calculated as star beta in q over k w q where k w is about a half is constant now for th4 positive log k is generally 2.5 for u2 positive is 5.25 for amt positive it is minus 7.2 and for npo2 positive minus 7.2 So this is the order for first hydrolysis constant. TH4 positive, then U2 positive, then AM3 positive, and then U and PO2 for NPO2 positive, which is the same order of the charge structure. Talking about the actinide hydrolysis, uh, this is the equation and depolarization difficult with aging. Now relative percent of the oxygen hydroxide bridging is an important factor to decide inertness of the polymer. Actinide hydrolysis, you can see hydrolysis behavior depends on the oxidation state. Now talking about M and plus plus H two when there is only one water molecule addition taking place, it's giving you M O H N minus plus H two. Now M N plus plus two H two O M O H two S minus two three is M minus three and Z is M minus Z. So M N plus total equal to M N plus three plus M O H N minus one M O H two N minus two plus M O H three N minus three. So, assuming only monohydroxy formation, M N plus two over M N plus three one plus K one over one uh, into one over one over H. The fraction of hydrolyzed species is pH ten. Log K one equal to minus eleven point three and pH equal to ten. M N plus total equal to M N plus three one plus ten is four minus eleven point three plus ten is four. M plus total equal to M N plus three one plus ten is four minus thirteen ninety five percent into M N plus total equal to M N plus three. At pH eleven point three fifty percent. Of M plus two. Talking about actinide hydrolysis, assuming no solid phase formation, M N plus H two is giving M O H N minus one. U three positive is ten micromolar, and U two positive is ten micromolar. M three positive is ten micromolar. Assuming no solid phase formation, U plus four is ten. U three plus four is ten. Next is actinide official state. Has some speciation limits. Now for high H plus density. Including pH is 14. For low, it is electronic um, state. Now there is another concept of PE-PH diagram. Uh, there are two concepts: one is PE and pH to decide the oxidizing or reducing tendency of the aqueous medium. Now two notation looks very different, but are related as uh, as we can express the state of natural water, oxidation state of natural water by using any one. Now PE can be thought of as a master variable. That controls the equilibrium distribution of the various oxidation states of an element. In very much the same way that the hydrogen ion concentration controls the relative concentration of the conjugate acid-base species. Now, this relationship is commonly expressed as a log C or log activity plus versus pH over pE for a fixed total concentration of the element. Fe3 plus plus electron is given Fe2 plus. So finally, we need to plot pH versus hydroxide species distribution and PE versus oxide species distribution to understand the speciation under different pH and PE/EH condition. The different, the better way is to club 
the two that of pH and EH over PE and plot a pH versus EH over PE plot also known as or Bex plot this will give a lot more information in single plot. Now PEPH stability field diagram show in a comprehensive way how protons and electrons simultaneously shift equilibria of reaction under various conditions. The diagram indicates which species predominate under any given condition of PE and pH. A different region in the plot and their significant area in the power Bex diagram map regions where a single species is stable, more stable species tend to occupy larger area. Lines mark places where two species exist in equilibrium. Horizontal lines show pH independent reaction. Vertical lines, pure acid based reaction, these do not depend on potential. Slow reaction that are both acid base and redox dependent. Now there are some basic equations A of Z species plus N electron given D, which is a reduced species. Redox half reaction are written as reduction where we calculate PE equal to minus delta G over 2.3 and RT because and then going further for the PE derivation we can see K equal to the special over oxidation into electron. Now number of electron for PE is equal to N log 1 over electron equal to log K plus log of oxidation A over reduction B E equal to E naught 0 0.059 to over N log of oxidation over reduction. P e equal to P e naught 1 over n log of reaction A direction B, but you know log of 1 over E equal to minus log of 1 over uh, uh, E minus, which is P e, and then divide by n, then P e equal to 1 by n log K plus 1 by n log oxidation A over reduction B, now, but P e naught equal to 1 by n log K, so P e equal to P e naught plus 1 by n log oxidation A over reduction B. So P e equal to F over 2.3 RDEH. Now P e naught is 1 over N log K. Going further, talking about the half reaction and the standard reaction potential, you can see for sodium it is minus 2.71, for zinc it is minus 0 0.76, for iron it is 0 0.44, for coal it is 0 0.2826, for hydrogen we all consider this. Now talking about P e for a given environment is controlled by Fe redox couple. Half reaction is Fe3 plus plus electron giving Fe2 plus. Log K at 25 degrees centigrade will be plus 13. Now uh, standard reduction potential is plus 0.77. Number of electron is assumed to be 1. E equal P naught plus 1 by N log oxidation over reduction. P naught equal to log K over N which is 13. Electron equal to 10 to minus 11. Water is a medium for redox reaction in the environment. Oxidation and reduction. Half reaction is 1 by 4 O2 plus H plus giving half H2. And PE naught at 25 degrees centigrade is minus 1.75. In the pH EH plot, since all the equilibrium reactions are in water, we cannot go to the higher pH where water is still can oxidize to oxygen. Similarly, we cannot go to too low where water gets reduced to hydrogen. So we have a stability reason between two lines. Oxidizing limit of the PHP diagram 1 by 4 O2 plus H plus 30 giving half H2O. P equal to 20.75 minus PS, P equal to minus pH. Fungi for O2 plus H plus plus E minus uh, giving half H2O. P equal to PE naught plus 1 by N log O2 raised to 1 by 4 H plus over H2O 1 by 2. P equal to 20.75 minus pH. Redox reaction of dissolved species. Is this now the mission to call for cheese? Is this uh, you can go through it and deep areas? Then in the next class, we came across the definition of PE oxidized species and electron give P equal to reduced species. So PE comes out to be PE naught plus 1 by n log of oxidation is turned over reduction is to be the symbol EV in scale of P are used to indicate the hydrogen scale which is SHG. E equal to E naught plus 0 0.0592 over N log of oxidation is to A over reduction is to B divided by N gives you the equation of E and P is F over 2.3 RTEH of E naught equal to by N log. So in the PHEH plot, since all equilibrium reactions are in water, we cannot go to a higher EH where water itself can oxidize to O. Similarly, we cannot go too low since water can reduce to H2. So we have stability reasons between two lines.
Oh, so finally we need to plot pH versus head of the species distribution and P versus of the species distribution to understand the speciation under different pH and pH condition. The better way is to club the two that of pH and pH over P and uh, plot a pH versus pH over PE plot also known as Polvex plot. This will give a lot more information in single plot. PE pH stability field diagrams show in a comprehensive way how protons and electrons simultaneously shift theory of reaction under various conditions. Diagrams uh, indicate uh, which species predominate under any given condition of PE and pH and results in a plot and their significance is this. So it is now this. Spectroscopy in color we talk about lanthanum is colorless, cerium is colorless, rhesodemium is uh, violet yellow green, neodymium is violet green, promethemium is pink, samarium is yellow and it's Rosium is pale yellow, erbium is pink, thulium is pale green. Now spectral color is there in the wavelength and then complement color as shown, which is the chemical system. Talking about term symbol, electronic configuration we know is rhodium 3, Xn4, F6 or 4F6. 4F6. 4F shell is well shielded from its environment by the close 5S2 and 5P6 outer shells. Region ratio of the 4F6 configuration is partly or totally dictated by several, several perturbations acting E3 plus ion. Now there is an electron dispersion. Electrostatic interaction between different electrons in the 4F shell. Spin orbit coupling the interaction between the spin magnetic movement of the electron and the magnetic field created by the movement of the electron around the nucleus. Crystal field perturbation caused by the interaction between the 4F electron and G1 effect, splitting of the energy levels by an external magnetic. Now how to get the number of microspaces for any configuration? The number of microspaces can be calculated simply by using relation NCR is equals to n factorial over r factorial into n minus r factorial, where n equal to 2 into 2 l plus 1, l is an elementary quantum number and r is a number of electrons. Now for F6 system n equal to 14 and r equal to 6 for a number of microspaces equal to 14 factorial over 6 factorial into 14 minus 6 factorial which gives 3003. Similarly, this is turned term, term symbol after electron dispersion and 4F6 configuration is characterized by 119 2S plus 1 L terms. Region ratio of each term is 2S plus 1, 2 L plus 1. S is a total spin quantum number and L is a total orbital angular quantum number. If spin multiplicity is 2S plus 1, even odd electron or even multiplicity, always odd multiplicity for 4F6. Singlet, triplet, punted, and septet for 2S plus 1 equal to 1, 3, 5, 7. Term symbol is 2s plus 1 LJ. Terms are denoted by capital letters and Latin alphabet. S L equal to 0, P L equal to 1, D L equal to 2, F L equal to 3, G L equal to 4, and H L equal to 5. J is a quantum number which is indicated the relative orientation of the spin and orbital momenta, where J is equal to L plus S to L minus S, which is a mod value. The few term symbols for F6 configuration are 7F, 5D, 5P, 5G, 3L, etc. As we can see from here, from the process. Now, U3 luminescence, uh, okay till now, but so many terms which is ground state term symbol. Ground state term symbol can uh, when be varied at using Hohn's rule. The spin multiplicity has to be as large as possible. In case there is more than one term with the same spin multiplicity, the term with the highest total angular momentum or L value is the ground state. Rule 3 is for electronic shells that are less than half will. The ground state has the lowest possible J value. For electronic shells that are more than half filled, the ground state has the highest possible J value. The highest multiplicity for terms in F6 is at 7F. And since there is only one septate, which is ground term by rule 1, F6 is less than half filled, so the ground state is 7F0 by rule 3. The order of energies of the levels within 7F term is there for 7F0, 7F1, and 7F6. The UV visible spectrum of lanthanide ion versus lanthanide ion. This is a usual spectrophotometer and these are the uh, now there can be FF transition, FD transition and charge transfer transition. For FF transition which are parity or electrode carbon, they are not affected by ligand field. 
they are low intensity, they are sharp. Example is ND and PU. For interconfigurational FD transition, they are parochial about they allowed. They are broad, intense, is generally tends to feed to uh, centimeter inverse to molar inverse. Example is CVM3 plus, PR3 plus, and TB3 plus. Charge transfer transitions are electron is transferred from the ligand to the metal, which is LMCT. It is broad, intense, but less than FD transition. Example, U2 plus, FF transition are forbidden. We see it, FF transition are forbidden by the parity conservation. But this selection will get partially relaxed by the admixture of opposite parity configuration states into the F state trade function. Talking about the electronic spectra of lanthanide, L and actinide AL, electronic spectra of A and I is affected by narrow bands compared to the transition metal spectra. Relatively uninfluenced by ligand field effects, higher intensities than those of lanthanide when complex field. The last lecture we talked about UV visible spectra of lanthanide actinides. We already discussed it. Now you can calculate the energy level of the high energy lanthanides and the absorption spectra lanthanide like first medium is like this. And then comes uh, uh, color of the echoes solutions uh, of them. U4 different oxidation state. Now, visible to near are color, neptunium 3, neptunium 4, neptunium 5, neptunium 6. You can see here, plutonium 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Visible near eye spectrum of plutonium is like this. Peak intensity range position changes due to the change in plutonium depreciation acidity. The difference in the spectral features in LCL version of here either to different in local symmetry and ligand field around plutonium in the case. So this is application of absorption spectra. It can be qualitative, quantitative, is studying as oxidation, complexing of the metal ions with different ligands, metal ligand titration to find symmetry constant detection and estimation of the and the metal ions. And this one. Thank you. And talking about the lectures which have been taught, so we go through these are the slides complexation and determination, methods, factors, then halides of them, inorganic ligands, phosphates, carboxylates, then using alpha HIV at elution time, and then aqueous chemistry, actinide hydrolysis, and then comes uh, EH, EH concept, PE concept, what is PE, PE definition. How do we generate PE? How what is the thermodynamic? Then comes the different values and the factors affecting PE, then spectroscopy, term symbol, then uh, luminescence of EU3, uh, lanthanide versus actinide, UV visible spectrophotometer uh, used for uh, studying lanthanide and actinides, how do we calculate the energy, absorption spectra, and uh, colors of different echo solutions, and visual near eye spectrum of different actinides, lanthanides, the applications. That's it. Now let's go to the question seriously. So yeah, the questions are like this. The first question is saying which of the following statement is true. NP4 positive and NPO2 two positive complexes are less stable as compared to those of U4 positive and U2 two positive ions. PU4 positive and PU2 two positive complexes are less stable as compared to the U4 positive and U2 2 positive ions. NP4 positive and NPO2 2 positive complexes are more stable as compared to those of U4 positive and U2 2 positive ions. NP4 positive and NPO2 positive complexes are more stable as compared to those of U4 positive and PU2 2 positive ions. So, the right answer from the uh, first class is NP4 positive. And in pure to positive complex are less stable as compared to U4 positive and U4 positive. What is the natural abundance of thorium and uranium in our Earth respectively? It is both generally shown. It is 10 to 15 ppm for thorium and 2 to 4 ppm for uranium. Going further, what is the maximum degeneracy of the 7F3 state? 3, 5, 7, 9. The right answer is 7. In an EU3 emission spectrum, two peaks were observed at 578.2 nanometer and 579.4 nanometer respectively due to splitting of J, presence of 
at most two different EU3 centers, within the one two different EU3 centers, on information can be considered. Right answer is presence of at least two different EU3 centers. What is the order of stability for the tetra pentavalent actinyl ion in acidic solution? Pu5, you get an NP5, you get an NP5, NP5, you get an NP5, U5, you get an NP5, or Pu5, you get an U5 is very, very higher than NP5. It is just given in a slide, you can see. The right answer is NP5, very, very higher than Pu5, is higher than Pu5. The next question is, what is the order of stability for the hexavalent actinyl ions? The options are Pu6, very, very higher than NP6, higher than U6. Second option is U6 is very, very higher than Pu6 is higher than NP6. Third option is NP6 is very, very higher than Pu6 is higher than U6. Fourth option is Pu6 is higher than U6 is very, very higher than NP6. And the right answer is U6 is very, very higher than Pu6 is very, is higher than NP6. Primary hydration number of a trivalent lanthanide or actinide can be obtained by TRLFS and uh, size of the ion. The first hydrolysis constant of the U3 is 7.9 at what pH? 5% of the U3 exists in a hydroxyl form. The right answer is 6.8 to 6.10. The stability of PU3 is more for dash due to the dash in the radiolysis of water. 239 PU increase, 244 PU increase, 244 PU decrease, or 239 PU decrease. The right answer is 244 PU decrease. Question number 10 is saying the pentavalent state of uh, uh, dash is stable as dash, however, dash exists as dash. So we know the options are PA, PAO, OH2 positive, NP, NPO2 positive, NP, NPO, OH2 positive, PA, PAO2 positive, PA, PAO2 positive, NP, NPO2 positive, PA, PAO, OH2 positive, NP, NPO, OH2 positive. So the right answer is. PA, PAO, OH2 positive, and P and PO2. Which of the following statement on a stepwise complexation constant is correct? K1 is less than K2 is less than K3. K2 is less than K1. And K1 is less than K3. K3 is less than K2 is less than K1. Or none of that one. The right answer is, we know very well, K1 is the highest, then K2, then K3. In the very first step. Next question is saying which is correct about the order of complexation constants of actinides with halides. F negative greater than Cl negative greater than Br negative. F negative less than Cl negative less than Br negative. F negative is nearly equal to Cl negative is greater than Br negative. F negative is greater than Cl negative is nearly equal to Br negative. F negative is greater than Cl negative is greater than Br. Which of the is just correct out of the relative complexation of the anionic ligands? F negative is highest, then NOT minus, then CL minus, and then CL minus. The complexation order of the actinide ions is given as what? Option 1, ANO2 2 positive, AN4 positive, ANO2 positive, AN3 positive, AN4 positive, ANO2 2 positive, AN3 positive, or ANO2 positive, AN4 positive, ANO2 2 positive, ANO2 positive, AN3 positive. ANO2 2 positive, AN4 positive, AN3 positive, AN2 positive. And the right answer is AN4 positive, ANO2 2 positive, AN3 positive, AN2 positive. And that's all. I'm again saying if you have any doubt, please feel free to email me or WhatsApp me. I could not take today's live session. Next live session I will not be taking as I'm coming outside. So now I'll be taking a final class in uh, on the date which I already told you. Let me check what is the date. So I will be taking the class on 13th April, 6th April class will not be there. So be available, that will be the final class for the final thing. So that's all for this class. Thank you.